In this particular program, I am going to show you how to find the sum of the natural numbers starting from 1 to n. And again, we'll be using the for loop because we know the beginning and we know the end point. So what I have done is I have declared a variable i to start from 1. And n, I can just give it any value or just leave it as it is. But it is very, very important to give sum the value 0. I'll try to show you by not giving the value of sum as 0 and then you will end up seeing the problem. So I know my beginning point. I want to ask the user to enter the last term. Suppose user enters the end point as 3. So it will be 1 plus 2 plus 3. So every time what I am going to do is I am going to increase the value of i by 1. So let's go ahead and write the for loop. For i is assigned the value 1. i is less than or equal to n. Alright. And i plus plus. Then what I am going to do here is I am going to take sum and add it to the value of i every time. Alright. I am not printing the value of i in the loop. I am adding it to sum. Sorry. I am adding it to sum. Then what I am doing is once the value of i crosses n, I am going to print f the value of sum. I am going to say first sum is sum is percentage d backslash n. So you are going to see the sum of this natural number series. I have taken all variables as integers because natural numbers are going to end up giving me an integer total. So let's try to run this and then I'll go ahead and try to explain to you this logic. All right. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to enter the value of sum as just say 3. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 should be 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 1, 6. So it should print sum is 6. Now what I'm done in this loop is I've taken i as 1. Initially i is 1. So sum is 0 plus 1. Then next time i becomes 2. So it is 1 plus 2. Then i becomes 3. Then it is 3 plus 3. Sum is 6. Now what I will do is I will show you what happens if you don't initialize the value of sum. Now sum is going to be given some random or garbage value in the memory. So a lot of you had questions when we were doing algorithms why you need to initialize. So here if you fail to initialize sum just to see what just see what really happens. Okay, let's enter the same value as 3. Now see instead of getting 6 what do I get? Luckily I am getting 6 because sum somehow got initialized to 0. But it's not always going to get initialized to 0. It can be any random number. Alright. So this way we are lucky that it got initialized to 0 but it can get initialized to any random number. Now what I will do is let me try increasing the width of n. Let me make n as 5 and let's see what happens. Let's see if you are lucky again with sum. Okay, we're still lucky with sum, but generally it will end up taking a garbage value. Since it ends up taking a garbage value, you will never get the correct value as 15. You may end up getting 50,000, 20,000, whatever it is, depending upon the value of sum. So just to verify that, okay, all right. So this should be lucky, but I'll try to create this error later on in some problem and you'll end up seeing what can be the problem if you fail to initialize sum properly. So don't think the result coming correct here means you can ignore giving sum any value. We're just lucky that sum is randomly taking the value zero when we're running this particular problem.